strike is expected to last until 3 a.m. Saturday. Now, people who rely on the bus have to find a ride to work, school, or a doctor's appointment. Todd Hicks reports live from the UWM campus. Todd. Uh, Charles and Carol, word of that strike triggering a late night flurry of phone calls. Students here at UWM trying to find any way to get to class. Idle buses and its picketing drivers triggering a ripple effect for thousands of people. One of them is Lois Poe Harris. It's put me in a bad situation. Lois is taking courses here at UWM. Her dream to work with children. She scrambled to find a way to class and had no plans to get sidetracked by the strike. Couldn't um, stay at home because I want to get my grades and if I had to stay at home, that's on my academics. You know, and that looks bad. Without a car, she isn't sure where her next ride will come from. It's just bad for people that don't have transportation, no other than the bus. UW Milwaukee alerted students and faculty Tuesday night, outlining alternative options for transportation. But make no mistakes about it, Lois thinks the strike isn't fair. And it's tough. And it's tough. It's tough for me. And Lois telling me today that a handful of people were noticeably absent from her classes today here on campus. We're live on the campus of UW Milwaukee, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of people depend on the buses. Thank you, Todd. While the